Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Walio nyumbani bwana asifiwe. Nashukuru Mungu sana kwa kuwa amekuwa mwema na mwaminifu baada ya muda mrefu sana ya kukaa nyumbani. Nashukuru Mungu kwamba ameona hii ndio siku ambayo imempendeza tuweze kuingia kanisani. Amen. Amen. Katika hali ya kuanza ibada yetu Tamkaribisha mchungaji aanze kwa maombi. Karibu mchungaji. Tuombe. Baba Mwenyezi na mwenye rehema nyingi. Tunakushukuru sana sana asubuhi ya leo kwa sababu umekuwa Mungu wetu. Kwa sababu umekuwa Mungu hata wakati tulikuwa nyumbani kufanya ibada zetu nyumbani pamoja na jamii zetu kwa ajili ya changamoto ambayo tuko nayo ya COVID-19. God you have been gracious to us. God, you have been faithful to us, even at this particular time and Sunday, as we resume to our new normal of our services. We want to pray that, Lord, your Holy Spirit is going to be with us, to lead us so that we can receive your blessings. We also pray that, Lord, those who are watching at home, Lord, be with them and bless them as you bless us this day. We worship your name, we glorify your name. We welcome your Holy Spirit to be upon us and to teach us, dear Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Asante sana mchungaji. Ngependa kwa kumbusha wote walio nyumbani kwamba ibada yetu iko mtandaoni. Mnaweza kutufuatilia aidha kwa YouTube ama kwa Facebook. Mungu awabariki sana. Kwanza ibada yetu tutaanza kwa wimbo wa kwanza tukiongozwa na kwaya. My hope is built on nothing else. together the people of God drawn by his spirit longing for his word 
to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in his love and to be sent in his peace. We are heirs of the Father, we are the Son. renewed in the Spirit, together we are one. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins in repentance and trust, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. So let us confess them to our Father. Eternal Father, God of our ancestors, before your power all things we have done wrong and neglected to do right. Our sins weigh heavily on our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Come them not against us. Grant us the joy of forgiveness. Enlighten our hearts with the glory of Christ, who died and rose for us. Let us pray. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ rejoices at repentance and declares his acceptance. The dead are alive. The lost are found. His goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and you will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of the day. Today is Sunday 5th, Sunday 6th after Trinity. Almighty Father, we thank you for Jesus our Lord and bread of life who desires of his children to be nourished physically but more so spiritually by accepting him as Lord and Savior in their lives. Grant us to receive Jesus, be cleansed of all our sins and etern eternally be fed, never to hunger again. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to glorify the Lord, to Simame. Glory to the Father in whom all things began. Hallelujah. Let's join together in the jubilate song led by the choir. with thanksgiving in my heart I will say this the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice for me as me be glad I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart his words with praise I will say this the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice for he has me be glad he has made me glad, he has made me glad I will rejoice for he has made me glad He has made me glad, he has made me glad I will rejoice for he has made me glad I'm happy today In Jesus name I'm happy Because he has taken away my sins away I'm happy, so happy Tutabaki tumesimama Tutasoma zaburi 
Zaburi ya sabini na moja Zaburi ya sabini na moja kutoka mstari wa kwanza hadi ule wa tano Na nitasoma Kwako e mwenyezi mungu na kibilia usalama Komwe usiniache ni aibike Kwa wadilifu wako uniokoe na kunisalimisha Unitegee sikio lako na kuniokoa Uwe mwamba wangu wa kukibilia usalama Gome imara ya kuniokoa Kwani wewe ni mwamba na ngome yangu Stali waine Niokoe e mungu wangu Mikononi mwa waovu Kutoka makuchani mwa wabaya na wakatili Maana we mwana utumaini langu Tegemeo langu e mwenyezi mungu Tagu ujana wangu Tujunge na maneno ya utukufu Utukufu ya kwa baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Ulivyo kuwa mwanzo, ulivyo sasa, hata milele ni vivyo Amina God bless you Ulu tunaiza keti Tunapo keti, tunakaribisha somo la pili Praise Jesus. Amen. Our our reading comes from Romans 5. Romans 5 from verse 1 to 5. Romans 5 1 to 5. And I read, now that we have been put right with God through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. He has brought us by faith into this experience of God's grace in which we now live. And so we boast of the hope we have of sharing God's glory. We also boast of our troubles because we know that trouble produces endurance. Endurance brings God's approval and his approval creates hope. This hope does not disappoint us, for God has poured out his love into our hearts by means of the Holy Spirit, who is God's gift to us. That's the word of the Lord. Asante, can we appreciate him? Wakati huu nitauliza kwaya tafadhali karibuni kwaya Yeah. Uh -huh. 
took my sins and my sorrows, he made them his very own. He bore the burden to Calvary, and so far and died Wonderful singing. Karibisha praise team. Karibuni.
kama wewe hakuna kama wewe hakuna kama wewe bwana thank you thank you praise team wakati huu tutamkaribisha atakaye toa matangazo karibu leirida Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yeah, we want to be welcomed all of us uh, in this service. This is the second service and we want to thank God because of even giving us a chance to stream our service live. That means that those people who are at home can be able to watch us. And I want us to take this chance to welcome all of us in this church and also we welcome you person who is watching us live at home at the hospital katika safarini or wherever pale or every other place that you're in karibu sana we want to welcome you to this all saints all ack all saints hyrax church and uh, we welcome you to this service na tunakuomba tunaomba mungu akutendee mema penye ulipo so kanisa tunaweza wakaribisha wale wenye wako nyumbani mama popote pale wanatuangalilia so tuwakaribisha kwa makofi kanisa asante ni sasa sana so we want to to remind all of us that we will be having uh, until when we are allowed to do the congregation by our government uh, we are still reminded to follow our the Ministry of Health regulations, health guidelines, we yeah, are putting on our masks, sanitizing, keeping physical distance, and the other things that we've been told. Now, we've been also been told what to do in case you suspect yourself or you suspect your neighbor, you can raise an alarm to the Ministry of Health uh, officials who are all over the surveillance team. We also want to be reminded that we have our services. We'll be having our Saturday services. The first service will be starting at 9 or through to 10. Then second service will be starting from 11 to 12. And the third service will be starting from 1 to 2 o'clock. We also have our services down at uh, our service at uh, Church of Grace, which will be one service, the one that will be running from 10 to 11. So we are all reminded that we have an obligation to keep time. It will be a change of a service of only one hour. By that time, the church has been fumigated and it will be ready for the second service. So it is a service that will be keeping time and observing time so that we can uh, we can we can take care of each and everybody and things will go on well so thank you very much god bless you so much i now invite the praise and worship uh, to lead us with a short chorus so that we can welcome the one who is giving us the word which who is our vicar karibuni praise and worship naweza simama wote ndio tuweze kushiriki pamoja Nitatangaza neno lake bwana katika lugha mbalimbali Nitatangaza neno lake bwana katika Nitainua neno lake bwana Sote tuimbe, tuimbe, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you this morning for giving us another chance to come in this sanctuary to worship you, to praise you and to honor you, and to give sacrifices to you. Father, we pray you speak to us in a special way. Lord, speak even to those that are watching at home as you speak to us this time. And we pray and trust in Jesus' name. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. How have you been for the last four months and two weeks? You have been fine? We thank God for you. Bwana asifiwe. I have also been fine in the Lord. God has been with me. And have protected me. Now today I want us to speak the word of God and I want to speak on hope in God Tumaini kwake mungu Bwana asifiwe Now I know that what brings hopelessness is fear sometimes and we have an experience of fear from when we were told not to come to church even at this time, people are fearing because they do not know when COVID-19 will be declared that it is not there. People have been thinking that schools will resume. It is, they are not going to resume yet until January. And we do not know when, whether it will be true. Some students have fear. They wanted to sit for their exams at the end of the year. But they are not good to do that. They are not going to do that. Personally, I've had people going through divorce, going through uh, a very difficult time because they have lost their job. Some have lost their businesses. Some have loans. And they have not paid. And the banks are following them. Some are struggling with illness and pain. Some are struggling with difficulties because their children are not obedient. Some are struggling because their businesses have gone down. In fact, some of us have relocated from town because they are not able to pay the rent and the landlords are upon them to pay the businesses have gone down but one thing that is almost that is common to almost all of them is that they are grasping for something to give them hope even at this particular time to students they are struggling for something to give them hope. For parents, they are struggling for God to give them hope. Hope that things will get better. Hope for healing or getting well. Hope for employment because some have lost their job. Hope for having peace in their family. Because when the government say that we stay at home, people are not used to live with their families. They live in the morning, they come in the evening, and some came very late. But this time, sometimes we were forced to be with our families from morning to evening, every day. And I have experienced this bringing a lot of uh, anxiety. Some of us have hope, when will God come, that I'll be able to pay the loan that I owe the bank. Hope that COVID-19 will come to an end. Hope that God will be with each one of us while we are going through turbulent times. And today, my brother and my sister, I want to talk a brief and hopefully encouraging look at why 
we as Christians, as Kenyans, should have hope in God. Despite the challenges that we are going through of, of hope of, of COVID-19, this is a global issue. It is a global pandemic. But we have hope. Jesus Christ came that we may have life and we have it in Abaddon. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Many other times fear brings hopelessness. But the Bible is reminding us in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 that be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread for of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. And these words were echoed by God himself after Moses' death when God appeared to Joshua and told him, Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. Now be strong and courageous. I will be with you. Praise the name of the Lord. We are reminded that God is with us. He is reminding us that we be strong and trust in him. David himself was writing Psalms, Psalms 71 as we, it was read to us this morning. And David was trying to evaluate his life from when he was born to the time that he was writing these Psalms. Because at the time that he was writing, he was an old man. And he is saying, in you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. In fact, he says in verse 5, For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust. I have learned from my birth. That means from when he was born, he had trusted in God and his hope was only to God himself. That is where he found refuge. That is where he found happiness. Because you remember he was surrounded by enemies as a king. And most of the times that they were going for war. But he had hope in God. Praise the name of the Lord. Even at this time, that we are facing challenges because of COVID-19. Even at this time that we do not know whether our business are going to stand. Even at this time that we, don't, we do not know even the economy of this nation. Whether it is going to be stable. Because our life, our usual life, our normal has been disrupted. Disrupted by, by COVID-19 challenge. Let us have hope in God. Praise the name of the Lord. As a student, wherever you are, have hope in God. Doesn't matter when you sit for your exam. Have hope in God. Trust in Him. Because in Him, we find refuge. In Him, we find peace. In Him, we are strengthened. We become strong. Praise the name of the Lord. When we have faith in Jesus Christ, we have hope not only in this life, but we have hope in the next life. And that is why Peter, or Paul says, when he was writing to Philippians, to live for me is okay, but to die again is gain to me. Because he knew that there is life after death. So brothers and sisters, let us be encouraged and know that God is with us and will remain our hope every time, every morning, every minute. God is our hope. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why Paul writes Romans, therefore, 
since we are justified by faith, we have peace in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to his grace in which we stand and we boast in our hope. Brothers and sisters, we should boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. Sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our suffering. I do not know whether it is possible for you to boast in your suffering. But the Bible is reminding us we should as well boast in our suffering. And because suffering will bring endurance, and endurance will also bring hope. And hope does not disappoint us. It will never disappoint us. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Remember, Jesus accepted to die so that we can have hope in God. And this was proved when he died on the cross for us. Therefore, brothers and sisters in the Lord, let us have hope in God. Let us trust in God, even if it is, sometimes it seems not to be possible. Because we are human beings. Let us trust God. Because those who trust in God will always be strong. Will always be encouraged by his word. The future, we entrust to God. And we will, he will help us to go through. Invite Jesus in your heart. Invite Jesus in your family. Invite Jesus in your businesses. God will, en be, will encourage you and will give you hope. Our hope, as we have sung, is built on nothing less. Praise the name of the Lord. And therefore, brothers and sisters, let us hope that God will be with us. We should not live a hopeless life. We are not going to die because of COVID-19. God is going to be with us. He will encourage us and walk with us. However, God has given us wisdom. And therefore, that is why we are told that we should be in our mask. We should also keep social distance. We should also sanitize and take good care of yourself as you invite God in your life. God will continue to bless his church and the Christians and all members. God be with you. God bless you and be encouraged to live for God. Be encouraged to have hope in God because God will never disappoint you. He will never disappoint me. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Asante sana mchungaji kwa kutukumbusha asubuhi ya leo kwamba katika hali yote tunayopitia tusife moyo tuwe na matumaini kwa kuwa Mungu yuko pamoja nasi. Amen. Tusimame. We stand together with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of the apostles Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty make of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to charge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Bwana akae nanyi? Tuombe. Choir, lead us.
desire our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on land as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. Wakati huu wakati wa maombi nitamkaribisha Lady the Dings aendelee na kipindi hicho. Ah uh, tupate ombi prayer for peace. E Mungu uliye mkuu wa amani na mpenda mapatano. Kukujua wewe ni uzima wa milele. Kukutumikia wewe ni uhuru ulio kamili. Utulinde sisi watumishi wako kwa kwa wanyenyekevu katika mashabuliano yote ya adui zetu ili sisi tukikuaminia ulinzi wako tusiogope kuvu za adui wowote e bwana twakuomba utusikie twakuomba utusikie e bwana prayer for, for our country e mungu uyawatalaye mataifa yote na kuyaamuru kwa mapenzi yako kwa kusii uangalie kwa rehema kwa rehema wakuu wote wa serikali rais makamu wa rais mawaziri mahakimu na viongozi wengine wote wa nchi yetu uwape hekima ili wa, watum, watumie mamlaka uliyowakabidhi kwa ajili ya amani ya dunia na kwa heshima na ustawi wa taifa hili kwa wema wa kanisa lako takatifu e bwana twakuomba utusikie twakuomba utusikie e bwana prayer for the church Mwenyezi Mungu uishie milele ambaye peke yako hutenda miujiza. Uwape roho na neema maaskofu. Tukimkumbuka askari uh, askofu wetu Daktari Joseph na familia yake na makasisi na mashemasi walei wetu na watu wote waliokabithiwa wa waminie baraka zako kama umande ili wakupendeze kwa kweli na watu wako, wako wote uwakarimie neema yako ya binguni na hasa wanaoshirikiana nasi katika ibada hili katika ibada hii ili kwa mioyo ya ibada walisikie na kulipokea neno lako takatifu kwa kutumikie kwa kweli katika utakatifu na haki siku zote za maisha yao e bwana kwa kuomba utusikie kwa kuomba utusikie e bwana prayer for our needs during the pandemic oh god the comfort of the soul the strength of sufferers sufferers let our prayer come unto thee for those who are great in need and distress visit with them the tender love and pity with, with your tender love and pity and help to face their trials with fortitude and hope be their strength and their shield lighten their darkness and make known to them thy presence and guide them by thy spirit may thy love and help reach them through all those who are seeking to help to help them and do thou o lord minister to them as no human being can ever do we ask this for them through jesus christ our lord and savior amen we all join in the prayer of saint chrysostom Almighty God, by your grace we have come together at this time to bring our united prayers to you and you have promised by your son Jesus Christ that when two or three are gathered in his name, he'll be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O oh Lord, our desires and petition as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the world to come life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, tutapata wimbo wa sadaka. My faith, my faith has found a resting place. Tusimame wote ndio tuweze kupatiana matoleo yetu.
tushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya matoleo yetu. E Bwana muumba na muhifadhi vitu vyote. Kwa shukurani tunakutolea wewe na kwa kazi yako, mazao ya biashara na kazi zetu zote. Ikubali na uibariki sadaka hii iliyotolewa na watumishi wako kwa uendelezaji wa kazi yako hapa na kwingineko. Tunakushukuru hata kwa wale ambao wametoa kupitia kwa mtadao. Bariki watu wako katika kazi zao za kila siku. Lipitisha kazi zao ili watosheleze mahitaji yao mbalimbali kwa utukufu na heshima ya jina lako takatifu. Tunaomba haya kwa Yesu Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. Amen. Tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya nyinyi wote ambao mmekuja. We thank God for you. Those who are watching at home and those that are here, may the Lord God bless you and have a blessed week. I wish you all God's blessings together with your family members. And next Sunday as usual will come and continue praising God and worshiping God together. Let us pray our last prayer. Bwana wetu wa biguni, tunakushukuru sana kwa sababu umekuwa nasi. Tunakushukuru Mungu wetu kwa sababu ya nguvu zako. Tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya baraka zako. Tunakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutuwezesha kuwa mahali hapa pa kuabudu. Mahali ambapo tumekaa sana bila kuja. Mungu wetu tunaendelea kuona uwepo wako. Ndatumaini letu ni kwako e Mungu wa biguni. Ninawaombea wote ambao wanasikiliza, nawaombea wote Mwenyezi Mungu wanao tutazama. Mungu kawabariki. Mungu kaendelea kuwa na wao na kuwapa hekima nyingi na kuwapa tumaini ambao wamekosa tumaini. Bwana wetu endelea kutupa nguvu katika imani yetu. Endelea kuwaponya wagonjwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Na tunaomba kwamba wiki ya kesho tunapoianza ikawa wiki ya baraka kwa kila mmoja wetu. Tunaposafiri na kufanya kazi zetu za kila siku tunakualika Mungu wetu ambaye ndiye tumaini letu la kudumu Bwana wetu wa biguni akubariki na kukulinda Bwana akuangazie nuru za uso wake na kukuhifadhi Bwana akuinulie uso wake na kukupa amani nazo na baraka za Mungu Mwenyezi Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu ikawe nawe sasa na hata milele Amen. Bwana akae nanyi. God bless you so much. God bless you. Thank you very much. Mfika mwisho ibada. Wimbo wetu wa kutoka and revive us again. <laughs>